a rude shock this morning after their business premises were demolished on Friday night. According to the traders, a private developer was working with powerful individuals in the government to evict them. A section of traders along Kangudo Road at Embakasi West are counting losses after their business premises were allegedly demolished by a private developer under the guidance of police officers early Saturday. Tension was high as police lobbed tear gas to locals who tried to block the busy Kagundo Nairobi road, paralyzing traffic movement. The traders who tried to salvage their wares from the demolished structures wondered why the exercise was done at night without a court order. Watu wa Kiabuda Dora waache kutusugua. Tunafanya search, tunafanya search na hakuna na hakuna chaba wako nayo. Sisi tunaenda na mheshimiwa Veuli mpaka kule kwa Rad Ministry tunafanya search, tuna parliamentary committee na hakuna chaba wako nayo. Tunauliza serikali kwa nini hawatujali area zile zingine wanajali. Na tena rais wetu amesema atatupatia mataito. Ni nini watu wengine wanakuja kutuharas over 20 years we are here. Embakasi West Member of Parliament George Theory damned the demolition accusing those behind for allegedly not following the law. We are just wondering what is happening because at ule area OCPD you can see it's a stone throw away. We have a police post there called uh, Pisma and at Awaji what is happening? Wameona tu maskari wenzao kwa hapa wamekuja wameanza kubomoa na mimi nashukuru watu because vile watu wamejitokeza those guys wameenda. He says some few powerful individuals are working in court with security apparatus to break the law. I wish to get what to know what to do court order. I'm a son something to say we are here to do this. They don't respect court orders and that's why you see they do what they are doing. Sazile watu wa melala. Because when you come to demolish place, satisa ya usiku. That is being unrealistic. The residents are now calling on the government and Nairobi Metropolitan Services to intervene. Timothy Kipnosu for lunchtime news.